Welcome to Kayukido. Todd at we discuss how to get newborn to sleep in bassinet. Many people are bugged by the question, how long do a new baby sleep in a bassinet? A newborn's internal clock is not yet developed and they get tired when their body tells them it's time for bed, which can happen at any time of day or night. In the early days and weeks, this means that your new baby will fall asleep in your arms and then most likely wake again just a short while later. Personally, as a mother, this is the chance to do something for yourself without the baby's destruction. Having a bassinet will help your baby sleep quickly and longer. What you need to bassinet at home. Choosing an infant bassinet is one of the first decisions you will make regarding your little one's nursery. Your baby may spend a lot of time in her bassinet, so it is important to choose one that will be comfortable, safe and clean for her and easy on you as well. An adjustable height and multiple bedding attachments are both important features to look for in an infant bassinet. Mattress, mattress covers, fitted cot sheets. Select smooth, flat surfaces that are cleared of potential obstacles. Make sure the area is well lit. How long do babies sleep in a bassinet? The age of the child is one factor that will affect how long they might sleep in a bassinet. On average it lasts about 4 to 5 hours. The bassinet must not be left unattended. Baby won't sleep in a bassinet. If your baby won't sleep on a bassinet, here is what you should do. Have a routine bedtime sleep and eat. Introduce the bassinet as a place to sleep for naps. Put baby in bed drowsy but awake so they learn to fall asleep on their own. The trick here is to have a predictable bedtime routine so you know when to put the baby down in the bassinet. Use a white noise machine or some kind of sound to block out other sounds that might wake him up. During the night, you can get away with just putting them straight into bed, but during the day have a routine for naps and quiet time so they will get used to it. Swaddle the baby tightly. Before your baby is five weeks old, you can teach them to fall asleep in the bassinet by establishing a solid bedtime routine and following it every day. At bedtime, swaddle your baby tightly, keep their arms pinned down to prevent the startle reflex, feed if necessary, and place them in the bassinet while they are still drowsy. The other thing about swaddling is that it makes your baby feel warm. This is because you are bundling her up so much, but also because newborns do not regulate their body temperature very well. When you swaddle your baby, you should always leave the bottom part of her body uncovered, so that she can kick her legs around and let herself fall asleep without being too constricted. Leave the room, turn off the lights, keep noise to a minimum, and don't start conversations or check on your baby during their first few days of sleeping in the bassinet. Sing a lullaby or read a book. By the time the baby is trying to sleep, he may realize you are not holding him and wake up. Singing a lullaby or reading a book helps the baby to hear your voice and be convinced you're still near. Ensure your tone is smooth and low. You can also use a white noise machine to enable the baby to sleep quickly and longer. Be sure there are no distractions. Once your baby has adapted to falling asleep alone in the bassinet, you can gradually start to fade out the swaddling. However, be sure there are no other distractions in the room during this first week of sleep training so your baby isn't tempted to look around and risk waking themselves up. As your baby gets older, they will start sleeping for longer periods during the day and night, but you must continue the routine of putting them in the bassinet while still drowsy so, they can safely learn to fall asleep on their own. This routine helps establish healthy sleep habits that your baby will follow well into their toddler years. Clear all other obstructions to ensure free movement of the bassinet about the room. Avoid placing the bassinet near curtains or blinds unless they are away from the sides of the crib. Ensure nothing is hanging onto the sides of the bassinet. If there is a bumper pad around the mattress, make sure it comes with ties that secure under the mattress to prevent entrapment or suffocation. Make sure the mattress is firm and fits snugly in place to prevent entrapment or suffocation. Tricks on how to get newborn to sleep in bassinet. When the baby falls asleep on you, don't lay him on the bassinet immediately. Let the baby go into a deep sleep and put him in the bassinet. The tip helps to minimize the likelihood of the baby waking up after being transferred to the bassinet. Warm the bassinet before putting the baby in it. You can use a beanie or hot water bottle to keep the environment warm. This trick is helpful especially when the baby falls asleep on you and you want to lay him down on the bassinet. The change of temperature can make the baby wake up. By warming the bassinet, the baby will not notice the change and will continue to sleep. Remove the hot water bottle before putting the baby in and also the warmth is not too warm. 
when placing the sleepy baby in the bassinet, put him or her feet first and not the head first. If you place them head first, it will make them startle awake since it brings a feeling like they are falling. Bassinet Safety Rules When placed in the bassinet, babies should lie on their backs with their feet touching the bottom of the bedding. Their heads should not be covered by bedding. The neck of a sleeping baby can be crushed by certain materials if they are lying face down or have too much bulk near their heads. Also, ensure there are no toys or other objects in the bassinet that could pose a choking hazard for your baby to avoid suffocation accidents. Sleeping babies should also be placed on their backs to reduce the risk of SIDS, or sudden infant death syndrome. Keep the bassinet at a reasonable distance from the table and countertops where infants could fall if they try to stand up in their unstable space. To lower the risk of injury, only use the bassinet for a few months until your baby can roll over on his or her own and stand up on their own as it is not intended as a long-term bedding option. Conclusion Newborns are a bundle of joy that needs proper care and attention. Plenty and comfortable sleep for babies is vital to their development. If you were wondering how to get a newborn to sleep in a bassinet, this discussion has guided you through the entire process. This article provides ways that parents can use to make their newborn sleep quickly and long in a bassinet. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe.